Hi, welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine, and today we're going to talk about the atom. We continue with our chemistry classes, and we are going into chemistry little by little. In the first lesson, we started thinking about chemistry as a nice thing, as a good thing. In the second lesson, we started having fun with chemistry. That was with a fun song. With that song, you can learn chemistry and have fun at the same time. So did you check the song? You have some idea of the elements of the periodic table. And you know how the periodic table is in every chemistry class. And in that periodic table, we have all the chemical elements that we have in the world, in the universe, and um, as far as the man knows. So we're going to talk about the atom, but in a simple way. This is, remember, the foundation of biology. But the foundation, we are not going to become um, chemists. Uh, we just need to you know, understand the basics and that will help us with uh, the next that we are going to continue studying. The atom I'm going to talk about today. Let's focus on the vocabulary then. We're going to talk about the atom and the parts of the atom. We have the nucleus, we have the proton, the neutron, electron. How do we pronounce these words? Let's check our dictionary. How do we spell these words? We have atom, A-T-O-M. Atom, A-T-O-M. Nucleus, N-U-C-L-E-U-S. Proton, P-R-O-T-O-N. Neutron, N-E-U-T-R-O-N. Electron, E-L-E-C-T-R-O-N. These are the most important words in today's lesson. We're going to, to understand how the atom works. You know, it's very interesting because everything, every element and every substance is created based on, on the protons and the neutrons. That is something amazing. We are not going to go to understand how that happens because scientists are still studying that. We just care about how it happens. It happens. So the atom, you picture an atom, picture an atom. Where do you want to picture the atom? Maybe picture it here. Or maybe you want to picture it here. Or maybe here. There you have your atom. So the atom has a nucleus. Maybe I should go to the side. Okay, then you have your atom. The atom has a nucleus. The nucleus has two parts, protons and neutrons. There you have some protons and some neutrons. Cool. And you know, the protons and the neutrons, they have a charge. And also the electrons. So, one, uh, some have positive charge, some have a negative charge, and some have a neutral charge. Question for you. Guess which of the three has a neutral charge? Of course, the neutron. The neutron has a neutral charge. So the protons, protons have a positive charge. The electron, the electron negative charge. And um, what defines uh, what element is this atom going to be is the number of protons. If it has one proton, it's going to be hydrogen. But since the proton has a positive charge, it needs around it something with a negative charge. Right. You guessed it right. 
So this is going to be our hydrogen atom. So the connection between the electron and the proton, they don't get. They don't even understand completely yet. So we just say that it's there. It's there. It, it has to do with the proton. So that's all we need to know. And depending on how many protons an atom has in the nucleus, it's going to become a different kind of element. Uh, in the past class, we were studying um, the chicken and the carotene, and we saw the carbon. So carbon is very important because it's a uh, fundamental part of any living thing. There are four elements who are fundamental part of living things. Do you know this? Do you remember this from school? In Spanish, we say chon. How do you say that in English? Chang? C-H-O-N. Well, C-H-O-N. Um, C-H-O-N. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. These are the elements that make up all living things. With these, you get any living thing. It's amazing. So the carbon, we're going to see it. So a carbon, a carbon has six protons. So we know that it needs six electrons for it to be uh, balanced, to, to be balanced. And, and it's amazing how the same kind of atom with other atoms of the same kind can have different configurations depending on the environment, on the heat, on the density, on so many factors uh, that we are not going to go into detail. Don't worry about it. But this is the lesson today. Here you have the atom. The atom is a nucleus that is formed by protons and neutrons. And around it, we have the electrons. And then you have it. An atom. And when you see the elements in the periodic table, you know the first one is hydrogen. Why? If you see the hydrogen a card, something like that, you will see an H, which is a symbol, and then you will see a one. Guess what that one is? That's right, the number of protons. So that is our hydrogen. If we pick anyone, like this one, manganese here, we see the number. Uh -huh. And that number is the number of protons the nucleus has. How about that? Let's check the most the ones we care about. C H O N. Remember, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Carbon has six protons. That's right. Hydrogen has one proton. Oxygen has eight protons. And nitrogen has seven protons. So they are at the beginning of the table. Did you check their song? Because it was like hydrogen and helium, right? No? Hydrogen and helium, lithium and sodium. And oxygen, for so you can breathe nitrogen. Nitrogen is in the air, oxygen, so you can read or something like that. Oh, come on, you need to check the song. Check it. Practice, sing along. I practiced it with, uh, I practiced it lowing down the speed because it's very fast. But it was fun. That's the important part of the song. Today we have the atom, and I'll send a link for a different, uh, a more advanced class on the atom, because many people teach you this, and also others, another song about the atom. Maybe you will like it. Um, that's chemistry. It's easy. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you soon.